भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय कचिन मेति तत्व अरेउंडली मनुष्याण सहस्रेशु कशि जतति सिद्ध जतताम सिद्ध्या कशि मान वृत्ति तत् मनुष्य मीन्स ह्यूमैन बीइंग human being is the life where one can understand what is god it is not stated here jibanam the living entities there are we have several times explained many types of living entities जलजानम लखा सावरा लख विंशति दक्वाटिक्स दे आर ऑल्सो लिविंग एंटिटीज देर आर नाइन हंड्रेड थाउजेंड फॉर्म्स ऑफ बॉडी विद इन द वॉटर दे आर ऑल्सो लिविंग एंटिटीज एंड जलजा नवलखा सावरा लख विंशति सावरा मीन्स लिविंग एंटिटीज हू के नॉट मूव ट्रीज प्लैंड हर्ब्स ग्रास दे के नॉट मूव सो दे आर टू मिलियंस इन दिस वे यू कम टू द्यूमैन बींग दे आर ऑल्सो लिविंग एंटिटीज there are 400000 different forms we can see here we are living human being but we have got different uh, forms different color so this is the variety of creation so out of all these living entity the human form of living entity is very important uh, so that is the life wherein we can uh, understand what is god mm. therefore in the human society there is some process of understanding god which is called religion religion means a process by which we can understand what is god what is our relationship with him and what is our duty towards him so therefore it is said these uh, human being were actually trying to fulfill the mission of human life the fulfill to fulfill the mission of human life means that we living being spirit soul we are now entangled within this material body this is our problem really the uh, to understand the position of the living being is the beginning of bhagavad gita uh bhagavad gita does not begin uh with some utopian ideas of humanitarian work 
No. Sri Krishna wanted Arjuna to understand in the beginning that first of all you understand your constitutional position, what you are. <coughs> to know ourselves, what we are, that is Siddhi. Not to be busy with the bodily comforts of life which are being executed by the cats and dogs and hogs. The hog is whole time engaged how to maintain his body, how to have nice sexual intercourse, and how to eat anything he likes. You find the hog life practically. Uh, in our country, in India, in the villages, the village hogs, the loiter, whole day and night, where is tool, where is tool? Uh, so if human life is meant for that purpose, from early in the morning till one goes to sleep, simply find out where is money, where is money, where is money, where is money. Then what is the difference between this pig life and the human life? Well, the, if human life is meant for that purpose, where is money, where is money? Of course, to the human being the money is very sweet. Similarly, to the hog the stool is very sweet. See, it is a question of sweetness not the uh, matter, taste. So he finds good taste in stool, and we find good taste in money. Uh, so money also is seek. Why we want money? Viva charte haya rajan kutumma bharane nava. Nidra yate naktrang babayana ca babaya. The materialistic person are engaged whole day and night. The business is what is that business? That at night to have very sound sleep. Uh, very, uh, last night I had very sound sleep. That is enjoyment. If I can sleep up to ten o'clock, twelve o'clock. Oh, I have enjoyed this, the sleeping. That night the enjoyment is sleeping and sex. Babayana. Babayana means sex. In this way, night we are wasting. And daytime, divacha, uh, artheya. Where is money? Where is money? Where is money? And then as soon as we get money, then how to spend it? For sense gratification, for kutumba varana, for family maintenance, for purchasing, for shopping. Uh, they, they, in this way we are very busy. Uh, we do not know that there is another business beyond this. This is especially at the present moment, this is human civilization. They are always busy in sense gratification and getting money for that purpose. That's all. So that is not Siddhi. Therefore, Krishna says that mostly, 99.9 percent, they are busy in these things how to get money for sense gratification, and when we get money, then spend it for sense gratification. That is not Siddhi. That thing is going on among the hogs. Hogs are also busy in that way. Then where is the difference between human life and hog life? Uh, that was Shastra says, nāyaṁ deha deha bhājaṁ niloke Kastana kāman arhatibir bhujāngji. This was the instruction given by King Rishabdev, 
whose son's name was Maharaj Bharat, under whose name this land, this planet is called Bharat Varsha. This planet, original name is Bharat Varsha. Now it has come to India. Uh, <coughs> gradually, cut down, cut down. So he instructed his sons, my dear sons, don't spoil your life simply working hard for sense gratification like the hogs. Because the hog is also working day and night, but what is the aim? The aim is sense gratification. At night, sleep or have sex life, and at daytime, collect money and spend it for family maintenance or some sense gratification. This is not meant for human life. Uh, now, this morning, uh, one gentleman was asking us that we are not working. We are not working. They think, he's a lawyer, he thinks that unless one works very hard for sense gratification, he is not human being, or he is not doing his duty perfectly. That is his idea. Uh, but actual life is uh, to become perfect. From the platform of animal life, come to the perfection of life. Uh, therefore Krishna says, Manushanam Sahasesu. Everyone is thinking that work very hard like the hogs and dogs and find out your means of sense enjoyment and then enjoy it. This is called Kormi life. Uh, they have no other idea. Uh, you will find everyone is working hard uh, from morning at uh, six o'clock till ten o'clock at night. They're working hard. What is the purpose? To get some money and utilize it for sense gratification. Oh. This is animal life. This is unhuman life. But they are thinking that one who does not work so hard day and night for sense gratification, he is not doing. He is escaping. Oh. This is the reason. But actually they do not see that these devotees are engaged in working twenty-four hours, but not for sense gratification like the hogs, but for satisfaction of Krishna. That is the difference between Krishna consciousness, man, and ordinary man, Kurmi man. Therefore Krishna says that all these men, uh, they are engaged. As Shastra says, no, no. You live with the minimum necessities. Uh, don't increase your necessities unnecessarily. This is Vedic civilization. And the modern civilization is even increase your necessities a machine for saving your chick. You see? Another machine, another uh, attention, diversion. Uh, more machine means more diversion of attention. You have to take care, more technician, more technologies. And simply if one razor can save, can make my cheek very clean, what is the necessity? Formerly, at least in India, no, that go to a blacksmith and he prepares a razor, very nice razor, you pay him four hours, and it will last for your life. Uh, and shave your uh, cheek very nicely daily or uh, occasionally. But uh, the modern civilization means that in everything there must be machine. That is advancement of material. Uh, but the Shastra says, uh, what is the use of taking so much labor? Kastan uh, kaman. Kastan means with so much labor. Uh, if you create some convenience, by the so-called machine use, you create so many other inconveniences. Uh, just like we have got now motor cars. Of course it is convenience, but there are many inconveniences. 
Uh, formerly, people used to find everyone within the village. Now, because we have got big, big motor cars, we have to go uh, 30 miles to find out a doctor. Uh, so the other incon inconveniences are also increased. Now you have to find out petrol and flat tires, the Arabians, give me petrol. Uh, in this way, and if I stop manufacturing, then there is unemployment. In this way, we are becoming implicated by the so-called advancement of civilization. We are becoming implicated to these material activities, and we are forgetting our real business, self-realization. What I am? Athāta brahma jīgāsā. The real business is to inquire about Brahma, about Atma, Paramatma. But we are forgetting that. We are simply busy for the temporary life, say for fifty years or hundred years at most. But we do not know the life is continuous and as the life is continued, we have got experience from babyhood to childhood, childhood to boyhood, boyhood to youthhood, then in old body, then what is next? Uh, you ask anybody who has become an uh, old man, ask him, Sir, you have come to this stage, your body is now old, you have to die. Now, from childhood I came to uh, boyhood, boyhood to youthhood, then middle age, and now you have come to... Now what is next? Do you know? Oh, they will be silent. Nobody knows. Now what is my next life? A child can say, my next life is boy, I shall become a boy. And then boy can say, yes, I will be like a very nice young man. And the young man can say that I shall become a middle-aged man, father of many children. And the middle-aged man can say, yes, I will become an old man. And ask the old man what he will become, he cannot answer. Can anyone say? But there is next life. This body is now old enough. It will be finished, everyone knows, as sure as death. Then after finishing the body, what will be your next body? Who will answer this? Where is the scientist? Where is the philosopher? Where is the learned man? Nobody knows. Huh? Nobody knows. Therefore, uh, he is blind. He does not know what is his future. But there is future. You cannot say no. The example is here. And besides that, Krishna says, Tatha Dehamtara Prapti. Krishna, the most superior authority, he says, and it is accepted by all the acharyas and all persons who have attained perfection. So we should learn it. Then what is my next life? And if I prepare for the next life, that is called siddhi. That is called siddhi. If we don't prepare for the next life, if we remain like cats and dogs, the cats and dogs, they do not know what is next life because they are animals. And if I do not know what is next life, then what is the difference between the cats and dogs? What is the difference between? Saiva Gokhara, Shastra says, one who does not know what is the next life, he is no better than Gokhara. Go means cows and Khara means ass. Jashatma buddhi kunapeti dhātuke sadhikkalatra desu bhavu maijyadi. Saiva Gokhara, these men, are no better than these cats and dogs and animals. Uh, so practically you ask so many big, big men. Uh, last time when I was here, uh, Lord Fenner Brockway came here to see me. I asked him this question. 
that what is your next life? He is also an old man, eighty-four years. He says, Samiji, you shall die peacefully, that's all. Uh, peacefully you may die, but you have to accept the next body, whether that will be peaceful or not. That they do not know. Uh, Similarly, I spoke with Professor Kotovsky in Moscow. He also said that, Samiji, after finishing this body, everything is finished. Uh, this is the position of human society at the present moment, that they do not know how to make uh, life perfect. To make life perfect means uh, how to make my next life uh, very uh, perfect or happy or better life. Uh, otherwise, if I remain in darkness, Krishna says, tasādehāntara prāpti, then I shall may, I, I may become uh, any of these so many types of body. Uh, I may become a tree, I may become a dog, I may become a cat or a demigod. There are so many different. But I must be sure what kind of life I must have. Uh, that is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. We are not imagining. We are our movement is Krishna consciousness movement based on Bhagavad Gita. So Krishna says that as he says there is next life, that is fact. Now how we can prepare for the next life? That is also said in the Bhagavad Gita. How? Janti Deva Bhutani Man, Pitri Nyanti Pitri Bhutaha, Bhutani Janti Bhuteja, Madhyaji no Pi Janti Man. If you want to go to the heart planetary system where the material happiness is thousands and thousands times more comfortable than on this planet, that's like Saralok, Sargalok, Saralok. Mahalok, Janalok, Tamalok, there are many different planetary systems, up and down also. So if you want to go to that Urdhanga Chanti Sattva if you prepare yourself contacting the modes of goodness, then you are promoted to higher planetary system. You can go to the Pitri Lokas. Or you can remain uh, within this planet, planetary system, and if you like, you can go, come to me also. Uh, as you can go to the higher planetary system or remain here, that is all preparation. Bhuteja, janti, divam, deva, jajina. Similarly, if you, Madhyajina, uh, if you become uh, my worshiper, then you come to me, Krishna said. Uh, so what is the difference between going to the heart planetary system and what is the, the difference going to back to home, back to home? Everything is explained there. Uh, if you go to the heart planetary system, suppose to the planets of the Nemi God, Krishna says, then you will have to again come back. Abrahma bhavana lokan punaravartina arjuna. Even if you go to the topmost planet, then from there also, after khine punne puno martalu kangam vishanti, after your result and action of past activities is finished, then you have to come back again here. But there is another planet which is called Golok Vrindavan. If you go there, then you will have to come back again in this material world which is described by Krishna Himself. Dukhalayam asasatam maamupeta kaunteya dukhālayam asāsatam nāpnupanti mahātmāna. They, only, not ordinary person, can go to Krishna's loka, back to him. Who can go? Mahātmāna. Those who are great souls and who are gross souls, 
they are called mahatmas uh, who are mahatmas mahatmanusmang pratha devi prakriti vasita bhajanti ananna manasu this is mahatma those who are fully engaged in krishna consciousness absorbed in the service of krishna they are called mahatma sa mahatma sudullava that kind of mahatma the so called mahatma having a uh, orange dress and talking that he is god incarnation of god and he can give you perfection within 6 months giving 35 dollar not like that uh, the mahatma means mahatma anusmang pratha devi prakriti mahasiddha they are under the spiritual energy and if one inquires what is the spiritual energy the spiritual energy means to be engaged in devotional service mahatma anusmang bhag pratha devi prakriti mahasiddha bhajanti ananna manusha they have no other business than to work for krishna sar krishna they are mahatma uh, so our krishna consciousness movement is teaching people that you have no other business than to work for krishna that's all this is krishna business this is called krishna consciousness business that is called the highest part samsiddhim paramangata uh, siddhi heritage siddhi manasanam sahasya sukasti jatati siddha siddha means to understand what is my position why i am working so hard day and night for simply for sense gratification for satisfying the tongue to fulfill the belly and satisfy the genital this is my business eh? that is being done by the dogs and hogs when one comes to this sense the salai work like the cats dogs and hogs or i have got any other business that is human life oh, therefore krishna says manushanam sahasis all of them working like hogs and dogs they, have, they do not know there is something other uh, this is the position and uh, the modern civilization means and keep him in the darkness then let him work hard like hogs and dogs and don't give him any knowledge neither they know the so called leaders what is the perfection they think this is like uh, work like hog and dog and then die like hog and dog finish all business finish. this is not human life therefore krishna say manushanam sahasyesu kaschit jatati siddha they do not know what is perfection of life uh, therefore we sometimes we don't we do not say krishna says and if we repeat krishna's words the rascals they become angry ah they be actually they are rascals we plainly say ah uh, because he does not know if i ask him what is your next life he cannot answer then what is the difference if i ask the dog that what is your next life he cannot say go go that's all then if i ask any human way Then what is your next life? I don't bother about that. <laughs> the same answer. Go, go. That's <laughs> so this is the position uh, that we do not know what is the perfection of life. Uh, Krishna says that it begins real knowledge. Uh, this chapter is knowledge of the absolute. Uh, so everyone, you ask any M.A. Ph.D. Ah, uh, what is your next life, sir? Hmm? Go, go. <laughs> That's all. Go, go means why you are bothering about this? That's it. Now this is the position, uh, and we are uh, um, taking very hard job to convince these people about Krishna consciousness. they will not accept it they will de- deny Im- immediately they will say why do you bother us you do your own business let us do our own business but 
why we are bothering because we are servant of krishna krishna wants that these rascals should be informed these rascals should be raised from this status of ignorance so that is our mission therefore we are going and pleading sir i am a beggar i have come to beg from you Uh, that you kindly purchase one book and you read it. Uh, so sometimes they are doing after all human being. So this is our this is our business. We are stressing and pushing on these uh, books because a uh, modern man, if he purchases one book, then at least he will see one line what these nonsense have written. So. If he reads one line, if he is intelligent man, he will understand the value. That is sure. That is sure. Uh, so uh, the Krishna consciousness movement is completely scientific. As Krishna said, uh, we have given this, therefore, when I was registering this association in New York, some friends suggested that why you are giving this name Krishna? Why not? I put the name God, God consciousness. Then yes, I can give the name God consciousness. Then it will be confused uh, because we want to preach Bhagavad Gita as it is. Uh, that is Krishna speaking, and we are t- trying to place this Krishna's uh, teachings to the world. And not only that, uh, Bhagavan, God means Krishna. Uh, and if i give the name of god instead of krishna they will bring forth so many competition of krishna uh, that is not our purpose uh, krishna means god if krishna, god has any perfect name uh, that is krishna uh, because krishna means all attractive uh, god cannot be attractive for certain person Uh, god cannot be christian god or hindu god or muslim god uh, god is equally attractive for hindu muslim christian buddha that is real god and if hindu has manufactured some god christian has manufactured some god that may be god partially but not the supreme god the supreme god is krishna Ishara Parama Krishna, Parama means supreme. God, you are also God, and I am also God, and every one of us God. Why? God means controller. So controller, every one of us is a controller to certain extent, not the complete controller. But Krishna means the complete controller. Ishara Parama Krishna. Controller, you may be controller, I may be controller, he may be controller, but not controller like Krishna. Uh, Krishna can control all other controllers. That's what he is called supreme controller, Paramesha, Paramatma, uh, Parabrahma. These words are used in the Bhagavad Gita. I will find uh, Arjun says Parabrahma. Not Brahma, Brahma we are every one of us. Sarve khali dham Brahma. Gun Brahma is a small Brahma, and para Brahma means the supreme Brahma or the biggest Brahma. So Krishna is the biggest Brahma, biggest Lord, biggest controller. We may be a small Brahma, a small controller. Uh, that is the distinction. Uh, how the distinction is made? That is also stated in the Vedas. Nitta nityanam chitana chitana nam eko jo bhunam vidhati kama. In Bhagavad Gita it is said, Khetra gancha bi maga vidhi sarva khetri su bharat. Everything is there. Khetra ga means the possessor of this khetra body, the owner or occupier. So, You, me, and every one of us—we are occupying each one body. 
But I have no business with your body. Ah. But Krishna has got business with your body, my body, his body, everyone's body. Therefore Krishna says, Khetra Ganchapi Mangavidhi. Just like in landlord, he has got many houses. The occupier is there, or apartment. He is concerned with that apartment or the house he is occupying. But the landlord has concern with so many houses. Similarly, this body, I am the occupier. God has given me this body, this machine. But proprietor is Lord, the Supreme Lord. Therefore, both of us has got the I mean, concern with this body. Atma, uh, Paramatma. Uh, soul, super soul. So in this way, uh, we have to understand Krishna. Therefore Krishna says, Jatatamapi uh, siddhyāna koshit vetimāṁ tattata. Uh, what is Krishna's position? How is Krishna is the Supreme Lord? How is He the Supreme Controller? We have to know this. Uh, then our life is perfect. We must know our position, what is the perfection of life, what is Krishna, and what is my relationship with Krishna. In this way, if we understand, that is our perfect life. Krishna is describing that. Because in this chapter he says, samag asaṁ saṁ samagraṁ mā jathā gāśyasī tachinu. Krishna is ready to give us instruction, asaṁsayaṁ, without any doubt. Anyone who is advanced in Krishna consciousness, ask him any question like this, he will give full answer, without any doubt. That is the perfection of life. We must know Krishna tattva. The same thing I was explaining yesterday. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Jai Krishna Tattva Tattva Vetta Shai Guru. You try to understand Krishna. Simply try to understand, study Krishna. And Krishna is giving about Himself. You haven't got to speculate just like so many theosophies and philosophers and theologies, and they are trying to speculate to understand what is God. Now why you are speculating, wasting your time? Why not take full knowledge here? Yeah, everything is ready. No, that they will not take. They will speculate. So let them speculate. They will never be successful. But if you want success, you Krishna conscious man, then you read Bhagavad Gita thoroughly and understand and try to understand Krishna perfectly. You will understand because Krishna is giving His own identity, identification, what He is, then what is the difficulty? And if you understand Krishna, you become perfect. You become perfect. So perfect that janma karma chami dibbam ju janati tattva. If you understand Krishna in truth, then immediate benefit is that takta dehaṁ punar janma naiti. You have to give up this body, it is a fact. But after giving us, this is your last material body. No more material body, a spiritual body. So why not try one life to get back your spiritual life, get back your spiritual body, satchidānanda vigraha, and live eternal, blissful life with full knowledge, and live with Krishna and dance with Krishna, eat with Krishna. Why you are missing this opportunity? This is our solicitation to everyone. Dante nidhāyati nakaṁ padayu nipatya kāku satam kṛtyāca ahaṁ bravīmi he sādhava sakalame vabhyāya dure caitanna chanda charane kṛtānurāga. This is our preaching process that flattering you hundred times falling down on your feet and speaking one thing, please hear. What is that? Whatever nonsense you have learned, forget. This is our 
only solicitation. That you have learnt all nonsense. Please forget. Try to hear Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and be perfect. Thank you very much. Any question? So, what you will learn about that? By studying the human species. Study Krishna. This is sufficient. There are four hundred thousand species of life. What will benefit by studying? The botanists, the geologists, the biologists, they are doing that. Let them do that. You have to do. How to understand Krishna? But you can simply know that there are so many different species. That much. That is sufficient. What is the use of? Huh? Now suppose I am using this microphone. What is the use of studying how it is manufactured? Well, that's all. It is already manufactured. Let me use it. That's all. Why should I waste my time? How it is manufactured? I'm not going to be manufacturer of microphone. I'm going to become servant of Krishna. That's all. Nirvana means, as I told you, you forget all nonsense what you have learned. That is nirvana. Because we have learned so many nonsense things, if you finish, then you don't want this. It whatever is done is done. Now let me try to understand Krishna. That is Nidban. Nidban means finish. Nidban means finish. Do you understand? Finish this all nonsense, material business. Now begin spiritual life. That is Nidban. Does it mean that we won't die? Yes, as soon as that is said. Die means this is the last time. Because you have got this body, you'll die. But after this death, no more death. So we will die, but it will be the last time. That, no. that is not die. We never die. But we change the body. But the change of body we take as death. Uh, otherwise there is no death. No jayate no amriyate eva. There is no death, no birth of the soul. Uh, but just like the dress, the coat may be old and he throw away. That means you are not uh, annihilated. Your coat is annihilated. Similarly, no harnate harnamane sarire. After doing destruction of this body, you are not destroyed. You live, but in the material existence you accept another material body. That means you continue the process of birth and death. But if you uh, understand Krishna, if you become fit to enter in the society of Krishna, then you get only that spiritual body, no more material body. Takta dihang punar janma naiti. Mamit, he comes to me. That is your eternal life. In the seventh chapter, Krishna explains that he's the taste of water, and in different chapters that he's the source of light in all luminous objects. So mm-hmm. when we think like this, how we should how should we think of Krishna as in the personal? Form? That is already stated. There is no difficulty. Why do you ask this question? He says, "But also I am also conscious that I am the taste of the water. What is the difficulty? You take the taste of the water. That is taste." And <coughs> Krishna says, I am that test. So you understand that? That this test is Krishna. What is the difficult? You do not know what is Krishna. <coughs> but Krishna says, I am this test. Why don't you accept it? Then you know Krishna. According to your position, you understand Krishna. Krishna says, I am this. So take it. That test of water. As soon as you drink water, oh, here is Krishna. Say, so, Yulia, smaranam, uh, sabanam kirtanam Vishnu smaranam. Then you will at least memorize Krishna. That will enlighten your spiritual life. Because you will say, you take this line, taking water several times. And if each time I remember, here is the test Krishna, then Hare Krishna. Chanting of Hare Krishna automatically going. 
Hmm? Does Krishna speak Bhagavad Gita in the hellish planet? <coughs> hellish planet? That's what she asked. It is hellish planet. <laughs> He, you are not thinking it is hellish? <laughs> this is hellish planet. Uh, what do you mean by hellish planet? Uh, especially this London. <laughs> All is dark and moist. And what do you want more? Hellish. <laughs> you have to close your door. You cannot go out. Then, then go to the mine and subway. That is Alice. That's all right. Thank you. Hare Krishna.